hi guys um sorry for not uploading last week um i got lazy um but i also didn't have any wi-fi so i was going to do a draw my life today but my life really isn't that interesting and it never has been so i wasn't funny or anything the reason i've even got any subscribers here doesn't even make sense yes i have notes today because yeah um I thought I would talk about something I know nothing about, purely for your amusement and the hilarity factor. And you can all laugh at how wrong I get my facts and how little I know. You all know I'm a Supernatural fan and one of its brothering fandoms is Doctor Who. Um, I've obviously seen GIFs of it on Tumblr because I'm a Tumblr user. Um, and I've, I think I've watched a couple episodes, but I have, don't really have any clue of the plotline or anything. Um, I'm, yeah, pretty much a dumbass. Um, I do, however, want to get into this fandom, so, yeah. Here I start. So, obviously, it's about a doctor. Um, I believe he's a time lord, um, and he can travel through time and shit. Um, there's 11 different doctors, which is kind of confusing um because he kind of reincarnates into someone like into a new body or when he dies when he gets too old or something he gets a new body and that's pretty weird um and he's generally pretty hot too he you know and i believe he gets a bit of a new personality as well every time he doesn't just get a new body is he? he's a bit he's played a bit differently um so he doesn't get boring and each new actor doesn't have to kind of mimic the last one. It's British, so everyone's got cool accents and generally the doctor. I don't know what his name is. He probably has a name. I'm just going to call him the doctor because I believe that is what people call him by generally. Um, the doctor generally has two people with him, a female and a male. The females are generally overly gorgeous. I know the one from with the 11th Doctor's redhead. And she is stunning. I I really wish I was like her. It's Doctor Who. The f It started in the, the 60s. So it's kind of old now. Um, I think it used to be made again. And then they probably stopped at like the 8th Doctor. And then when they started again, they started from the 9th Doctor. So I know the 9th Doctor is decently recent in the f last so many years like he has a police phone blue box thing that he goes into um i believe that is called a tardis um and it's got some weird thing and it kind of goes in and it's got all these buttons around here and it goes up and has some weird twirly thing and attaches to the roof or something and i think that's the bit that I think that's what he uses to travel through time. He has some sort of magic stick thing too, I think. The police box stays in the same spot, I think, though, in the current world. So wherever he's got it, or well, in the current time frame, wherever he's got it, it stays there. The Tenth Doctor was the same actor that played Barty Crouch Jr. in the Harry Potter and the Prison... Harry Potter and the Half-Blood... Ugh. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Should know, I'm reading it. Down here. There's Iron Man. Isn't he a cutie? There's some evil thing that goes, EXTERMINATE! And it's really creepy, my friend has it as her text tone. To start with it was cool, but it's definitely creepy now. It's some... Um, thing that goes up and it's got a head and a little... I think, thing that sticks out, or it's a couple arms or something. It's, it's evil. There's a few other alien-like things in it too, with morphed faces and they talk English. I'm not sure what the, like, the plots are in each season or for each Doctor, but I'm pretty sure he saves the world sort of thing. I don't think it's from an apocalyptic sort of thing where the world burned up on fire or you know some sort of god thing it's I don't know I don't think it's anything like that but 
I think he saves the world from something. Um, actually, of course the world, of course if he's sending the world, it's apocalyptic. Emily, what are you talking about? He, I know Dr. Eleven wears bow ties. Um, and he has like those little stretcher thingies and he wears suits. And so does the tenth. But he wears just normal ties. Um, and I believe they're both. Generally it's red or blue. Ninth Doctor kind of wears like t-shirts and shit. He's more chilled out I guess. I think there's something in the plot line about him having a wife or he can't live with his wife, his wife dying or something and he doesn't see her very much. But I don't really know. I think his wife is human. I watch a lot because I, I, I subscribe to people like Charlie So Cool Light and Naramon and they were in a band called Charmeleon Circuit and I know they play songs about Doctor Who but I have no idea what Charmeleon Circuit is or what it has to do with Doctor Who. Like I said, I want to become part of this fandom. That's all I really know at this stage. Um, I just need to find a friend. Hi friends. I love you. Um, that I can go and watch it, start off watching it with. Um, or borrow the DVDs from or something to get, you know, get me kickstarted. So hopefully that is, I, that's hopefully that's how I'll start and I'll start sometime soon. Maybe once I start watching, after I've done like each Doctor, maybe then I can make a video about them all and sound smart. And then people that don't know anything like me can sound smart because you've heard it all from me that would then know what I'm talking about. I look forward to reading all your comments below, telling me how wrong I am and correcting everything. Um, maybe not so much about the spoilers, it will probably give away. Um, but then again, Tom was pretty good at spoilers. And let me know if you like this sort of thing. And I'll do something, talk about something I don't know anything about. And you can laugh again and maybe give me ideas. I won't necessarily do them, but yeah. Um, mm. I also, actually, today I also remember reading something on Tumblr about weeping angels in the Super Who Look fandom. Um, hmm, no idea. Oh, today I have OJ. See ya.